guys. So I chopped off all my hair because I was sick and tired of it and I was like, you know what? I just want short hair. You know that's a lie, right? So um, I didn't chop my hair off. It's actually just all pinned up and underneath. So obviously this is going to be a faux bob hair tutorial with hair extensions or long hair, whichever. And I know you're probably thinking, why do we need hair extensions if we're gonna give ourselves short hair? But you kind of need them for the volume in the hair to kind of poof it out like, you know, like right here. Um, I couldn't achieve this look with my actual natural hair. So you need the extensions, believe me. Or if you've got long hair and you just want to pin it up and see how you look, this is the look for you. I feel like this is going to be kind of popular around Halloween because I feel like there's going to be tons of Gatsby Halloween costumes because who didn't watch that movie? If you didn't watch that movie, stop watching this and go watch that movie. And we all know that they kind of have this kind of hairstyle. You could even jazz it up more and give yourself a finger wave, but I kind of just like it like this messy hair because we know that I don't like perfectly perfect hair. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a comparison between the Bellamy 20 inch and 22 inch hair extension choice that they have because I do see that question tons and tons on my social media. I see it in video comments so I just wanted to show you guys the difference so that you could see it for yourself and maybe help you make your decision on which way you should go 20 or 22 inch. So I think that's all that I have to say so if you guys want to see how to get this cute sassy little faux bob then just keep watching the video. Thanks guys. Okay so I've already had my hair curled. I just wanted to get through it because Obviously you guys have seen me do my hair a million times. The only difference was is I used a Bellamy 6-in-1 Complete Curler which is super similar to the um, new me one except it kind of gives you six different heads all in one so it's easier to keep everything kind of nice and neat um, so you're not like me and you don't have like wands everywhere. So once you do that you should be left with something like this and just for a note I am wearing the 160 gram 20 inch hair extensions for this. I wear the extensions to give me more volume in my um, little faux bob because um, my hair, I just don't have enough hair to do it with. So I'm going to slide my little workstation right here in front of me. And then what I'm going to do, I have a few hairs back here that didn't curl. So I'm just going to curl these really quickly like so. This is really, really hot. I feel like this is one of the hottest curling wands I've ever used. I have no idea what temperature it's on. But this thing is super, super hot. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and I'm going to give it a little tease at the bottom, kind of staying away from this area, just to give the hair more volume and texture. So you can see this side has the tease to it and this side doesn't. So I'm just going to do the same thing. And um, like I said, these are the 160 grams, and the color is mochaccino. So we're just going to tease it a little, kind of go underneath and in between. Okay. See what a difference it makes? Okay, so then next we're going to start pinning our hair up. You're going to need tons of bobby pins for this. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but you're going to need a ton. So um, there's a couple of different ways you can achieve the faux bob. You can do kind of like the pull your hair back into a ponytail, tuck it, and kind of fan it out, but I don't really like that one. You can braid your hair in little sections and kind of tuck it up, but the easiest way that I found is my friend actually showed me how to do this. She works in a hair salon. I was like, girl, show me how to do a faux bob. Okay, so I'm just going to split this in two push this to the back and this to the back. So then we have these pieces right here and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hair and we're gonna just start rolling it to wherever you feel like you want your hair to be. So I'm gonna push mine up to at least where I can pin it and tuck it um, on my head. And you want pieces like this to fall out. So then you're just going to start pinning it underneath. Kind of get up in there. You can just feel your way around. You'll feel like where you need to stick bobby pins at. And don't let go of it until you feel like it's pretty secure. I'm going to kind of fan it open a little bit. I'm going to go all the way under my hair. And pin it over there on the back like that okay, then we're gonna just do the same thing to the other side so you just want to stretch it out and then I put my fingers in and I'm just kind of curling the hair up around each other ok 
kind of molding it how you want it. And then pin it underneath. Okay, so we have this side pinned, and now we're going to move on to the other side. So, and if you've got loose pieces like this, like, starting to fall out, don't worry about that yet. So, we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to split this hair in half, work on this front piece first. All you're going to do is you're going to take kind of these two fingers, like little scissors, and you're just going to stretch it down the hair, hold it, and then wrap it up, and then just start rolling it, and it'll follow your hands pretty well until you get all the way up and then you just want to get it close enough to where you can feel it and you can pin it to your head. This side's always harder for me to do so if you have a little trouble don't worry about it. Just stretch it out, tuck it your fingers and then just kind of start rolling it up and it follows you right up like a good piece of hair. Alright, now I'm just going to go and make sure, try to get the sides as even as possible. Then I like to pull out like shorter pieces, like my actual hair. Oh, that one got like, it made it naughty. Just be gentle. They should come right out. Then I'm just going to go back in with my wand and kind of curl pieces <clears throat> um, so it just gives it appearance that it's actually real and our hair is not all pinned up. But it's really easy and it's fun to do, it's like fun to just switch up your hairstyle. Then you're just going to want to spray it. Pulling out some more hairs like kind of around my ear just to make it look more realistic. And then when you have it pinned how you want, it should look something like this. It's fun to kind of have shorter hair for the day without having the commitment of cutting your hair. So that is it for our faux bob. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try it out. And stay tuned if you want to see the 20 and 22 inch comparison. So if you don't want to see that, this is the end of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. So this is the part of the video where we're going to discuss the differences of the 22 inch 220 grams and the 20 inch 160 grams. This is my hair with no extensions in it. It grows really really slow, it has always, and apparently I have thin hair, but I have a lot of thin hair, which kind of sounds like an oxymoron to me. It's like, I have thin hair, but I have a lot of hair, but it's thin so it looks like no hair, but there's really hair. My personal preference is the 220 gram uh, 22 inch. Just because you know I like all that va va voom but the 160 grams uh, the 20 inches are really great for that everyday wear or if you don't have like tons and tons of hair so I'm gonna give you a comparison of the two so that you can see how they look on and um, then you could make your decision yourself so again this is me with no weaves <laughs> I'm just kidding Today's video is going Just hold on, we're going home. I saw. High five for us. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Spray it. Oh, or you could just spray yourself right in the eyeball. <laughs> Tons of great gas 
Ugh. Meow. Ugh, come on. Oh, that's gonna be a good burn. Oh, that's gonna be a good burn. Ah! Oh, that just gave me like an insta sweat. Burn myself, I'm sweating. Woo! Oh, I burned myself so bad. This calls for some beer. It's just root beer. I cut my hair. Yeah. I chopped it off. And I little bob. My bob is falling. I burned the shit out of myself. Look at that. Oh, it hurts. Ah. Zombie bite, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna have a spear. A spear, DJ, I gotta do it. No! I have to. I'm gonna bite you and you're gonna be my zombie boyfriend. Everybody get up.